Hi, uh, this is the actual, um, I'm going over a lot of the things in the bank proposal um, that I did a couple of videos ago. And um, this is actually the second item in the, in the loan proposal, I guess I should be calling it rather than bank proposal. But anyway, or the uh, a project cost and description, and this will probably be pretty short, but really you wanna, you want, if, you, if you don't know exactly, let's say, you know, you get a, a bid from somebody and it's like, okay, I wanna buy this, and they say, okay, it's this right now. You know, but if you talk to me six months from now, it's, it, I don't know what it's gonna be. So a lot of times what you wanna do is you wanna get, if you don't know exactly or you wanna wheel and deal on these projects after you get the money, you want to get an idea, go on the internet and find your, your find it and find a cost and go ahead and either print that out or put it on a PDF. And, um, and that way you have it to show um, either the banker or whoever's going to, going to evaluate this loan. So you want to have an idea. And, and when it comes right down to it, when they give you the loan, you, you know, you, you can't say exactly what things are going to cost. I mean, I've seen a lot of things move. Normally, you don't want them to move too much. Um, you want them to be, you know, at least, let's say, within 20%, uh, you know, of, of what you thought they were going to be. Usually, 20% cost overruns are okay. 30%, I've got them approved, but they get a little dicey. If you're under what you should, what you should be, if you don't need as much money as you wanted to borrow, that's fabulous. Uh, they always like that because, you know, it doesn't matter. I mean, unless you're a proven commodity and you've borrowed from them several times and they trust you and know you, they, they, they normally, um, you know, the lesser the better. So anyway, um, and that project cost should have a good description with it. They should absolutely know what it is. Um, and then any model numbers, you know, normally, um, you know, they want to see the, you know, the, 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 uh, you know, any number that's on this thing. Um, so you want to have good model numbers, you want to have a good description, and you want to know exactly what what items they are, and you can look that up on the internet, and you can basically show them, you know, an item with a cost. Um, the the item that wouldn't have a cost, or that wouldn't have a, a uh, wouldn't have a, a, a much of a description with it, would be working capital. Uh, the two things that bankers do not like to lend for is inventory, and working capital. Inventory, of course, if you, you know, let's say if you sell, you sell shirts, it's the shirts that are in your inventory, the shirts you have in your store to sell. Um, if you're talking um, the, doesn't matter what it is, inventory is inventory, but inventory once you go out of business, that inventory usually will, will end up uh, being worth a lot less than it was when you purchased it. Now there's certain items that, that are not but um, I guarantee you almost anything you're gonna buy is gonna be less, worth a lot less if you go to liquidate it. And then um, number two would be the, is working capital. Um, working capital is, is basically money they give you to use in any endeavor the, the corporation or business wants to use it in. So by definition, it's working capital is wherever you need it in the business. Could be used for inventory, could be used for pay some creditors, could be used to buy, um, you know, to pay daily uh, expenses, could be really used for anything. And they know that. And so working capital is the absolute worst thing that they want to lend on. They do not want to lend on working capital. So usually if you have money that you've saved up, which they want you to save up money, and you've got that money you saved up, then they want you to go ahead and, and use that money for things like working capital, number one, number two would be inventory. And then they want to sell or lend you money to buy things that you could actually sell them if you went out of business. And, and that would be in essence your collateral. Of course, you could have additional collateral. We'll, we'll speak about that on a, on a, diff, on a different video. Um, so anyway, um, I think that's about it on cost and description. It's not that big a deal. You just got to remember that you do, do got to know what they are. You do got to know description-wise, detail what they are, model number, whatever. You do need to know cost. And then of, you know, if it was real estate, um, you know, it'd kind of be the same thing. Um, there are things that banks can, can look up quicker, and that's real estate, uh, because they lend on real estate all the time. So um, real estate, they can tell the value and, and how much they want to lend on it fairly quickly. Um, equipment is more they can't be they can't be specialists in all equipment 
Um, and then inventory is really iffy, and then working capital is the absolute worst. I mean, if you can get working capital from a bank, that's pretty good. But uh, normally on a startup, they're going to want you to put in your money for working capital. So anyway, that's it for a project cost and description. Um, thank you very much. That's the end of the video. Um, remember to, to subscribe because there will be a lot of, a lot of really good information coming up. And uh, you can always, if you subscribe, you can always go back in and look at past videos and things of if, uh, you know, things that interest you or things that you have to know because you're, you're getting a loan. Um, and this will cover um, not just getting your first loan. This will cover if you've been in business for years and you're getting other loans. So, hey, if you could um, subscribe and, and if you got any, inf any good information out of this, which I think you did, um, only you are the judge, but if you did, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video.